Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having an incredible day. The unthinkable has happened. Bitcoin has skyrocketed, and this has all happened within the last hour. It appears that there's a reason for this, and without further ado, Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China and the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, said that the country needs to seize the opportunity afforded by blockchain technology, speaking as part of the 18th Collective Study of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee on Thursday in Beijing. Xi said, blockchain technology has a wide array of applications within China, listing topics ranging from financial businesses to mass transit to poverty alleviation. He said, we must take the blockchain as an important breakthrough for independent innovation or of core technologies. We must clarify the main direction, increase investment, focus on a number of key core technologies, and accelerate the development of blockchain technology and industrial innovation. The Chinese president's statement on blockchain are believed to be his first in-depth remarks on the technology. Xi further said it will be necessary to implement the rule of law network into existing and future blockchain systems. In this end, Xi argued for a top-down approach concerning implementation, calling for guidance and regulation. Xi said testing of the test of the tech should be widespread, including the investments in training platforms and innovation teams for implementation. So where does this all lead us? For those of you who have not been here for quite some time, or maybe you are just coming back, or maybe you have no idea what happened over the course of the last two years, China has had thus far a very negative stance against cryptocurrencies and any type of cryptocurrency activity happening within their borders. Why? It is widely believed because we know on one side that China likes to have direct control of everything that happens within their country. It's just kind of how things are. Uh, take it for what it is. The interesting part is that over the last couple of months, it's been since around 2000, the middle of 2018, We've seen an, a, a bit of an opening of China as far as it comes to blockchain technology. They banned it in 2017 and apparently at some point uh, let people know uh, that what they had said before was not actually true. So uh, this appears to maybe be the largest catalyst uh, that we could have possibly expected for a very long time within the cryptocurrency space. We were just discussing cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin within China. For those of you who were not here at the last episode, let me remind you or let me tell you for the first time, the pool concentration, the mining pools of Bitcoin within China are 81% of the entire percentage of Bitcoin mining around the world. China knows and has known for quite a long amount of time that they were in control of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency mining, but now I assume this is going to be upticked. Why do I say that? Because we had a lot of information sometime last year that apparently mining was not illegal within China. You simply had to go to the proper governmental website agency and talk to them and tell them exactly what you were doing and they would, I guess, uh, regulate hence from there. However, uh, the news that mining is not illegal within China is huge because up to that point that we had before it was widely believed that everything involving bitcoin was completely illegal on top of that as well for those of you who don't know this happened also at the end of last year there's a guy within the cryptocurrency space his name is andreas antonopoulos he is a an enormous advocate for bitcoin and just about everything decentralized within the cryptocurrency space he created a book called Mastering Bitcoin, for some reason, question mark, question mark, uh, at the end of last year, Chinese authorities, someone got hold of the book, uh, changed the name from Mastering Bitcoin to Mastering Blockchain. This is what the woman's holding right there. And this was also released uh, by the Chinese official TV channel, meaning that the government also knew about this. For those of you who don't know, once again, Anything that happens within China, the government must know about. So everyone was kind of scratching their heads because crypto's banned, crypto's illegal. You can't do mining, at least at this point. And then for some reason, 
They had, oh yeah, I think this went on for hours as well. I don't know if it says it's somewhere around here. I remember the news when we were talking about it. It was very confusing because I think it was like a day-long thing where they were just constantly talking about the benefits of blockchain and how everyone should use blockchain. I don't think they have it somewhere around here. Pop, 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 pop. No, they don't have it. Uh, remember the thing that we had last year? It was somewhere around this time as well where they, the Chinese government had released a, a PDF that was pretty much a, it was, it was really weird. It had like images of people getting married and like the guy on one knee handing his uh, soon to be wife Bitcoin and her smiling as she saw the Bitcoin. Like it was an actual Bitcoin. It wasn't like a, a, a random coin. It had the B on it. Uh, there were other things where they were showing like very prosperous people with Bitcoin. They showed in the PDF as well that once again came from the Chinese government. It showed the price movements of Bitcoin over the last couple of years that it had hit 20,000. And could it potentially hit even higher in the next couple of years, which once again also surprised people. Because this was the same exact country that had talked about banning it before and how much they didn't like it and how it needed to be eradicated. On top of that, we found out five months ago that Bitcoin was actually legal to own within China. <clears throat> This was the most confusing part, uh, simply because in 2017, once again, at the end of the year, <clears throat> I think Bitcoin was over $10,000 at this point. Uh, officials had announced it's illegal. Nobody can touch it. You can't hold it, own it, use it. Five months ago, the People's Bank of China said, uh, no, yeah, actually, it's completely legal. Uh, what's illegal is trading it. You can buy over the counter. So through an exchange, it's also linked to the government or you can hold it. Uh, you can't use it to buy things. However, as an investment piece, it's definitely possible. There was also the court case that happened within China around the same exact time where someone was suing someone else uh, for their Bitcoin. They said that it had been stolen from them. And I believe it was ruled that within China that Bitcoin was actually property and therefore people had legal claim to it. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that's been going on within that country. And it appears that now, according to the information that we at least have right now, as I mean, realistically, this is probably the most bullish thing that we could have had in a very long time. Between the government telling people, 1.4, what is it, billion people within China, that they cannot only legally own it, that they should be reading about it and getting into it, uh, and that also that China owns or controls the huge portion of the Bitcoin hash rate. Uh, and then the president openly coming out talking about that people within the country should seize the opportunity leads me to believe that something behind the scenes has been working the entire time. I would not be, no, no, no. no. I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if they've also been uh, mining Bitcoin. It's right there. We, we know that they've been mining it. Just a matter of how much has been allocated to the government and how much the government has also been mining themselves. Maybe they are also part of, I'm not going to speculate. Anyway. The point being, for those of you who are wondering at the moment why the price of Bitcoin has gone up, this appears to be it. On top of that as well, uh, yeah, keeping in mind this all just happened. Apparently what other people are saying, because there's always not even two sides to a story, there's around three or four sides to the story. Apparently what happened is... Between... The CME and what they've been doing with the, with the cryptocurrency market and backed and also apparently that Bitcoin's price bottomed over the last couple of days. Apparently we had been pushing down prices or prices had been pushed down to the point where uh, they would not go down any further. And at some point people say that they simply uh, bounced or shot back up. I find that to be the least believable out of the uh, scenarios that we actually have, simply because we've had amazing news before. Bitcoin has uh, shown to have bottomed. It looked like it was definitely not going down any further, and then Bitcoin's price fell by 50% over the next couple of hours. On top of that as well, this is also not so likely. On Wednesday, Bax Bitcoin futures saw a massive volume boost as the cryptocurrency market tumbled by 10% within a few hours time. In fact, the Upstarts market saw 640 contracts traded on backed, 653% the volume of the day prior, and at least double of the previous traded contracts all time high. We spoke about this the other day as well. For some reason, and I mean, depends on how far you kind of want to dig, uh, it does seem a little weird that up until this point, backed uh, uh, popularity had kind of waned, weaned. It was not doing as well as many people thought that it was going to do. 
And kind of the day and a half before the Chinese president announced that people within the country should be getting into blockchain, if not cryptocurrencies, and seizing the opportunity, that the amount of volume also skyrocketed on backed as well. So there are people who think that this may be or seem like to the market a bullish indication as to uh, why Bitcoin has gone up. To be fair, this was Wednesday. It is now Friday. The Chinese president just said this. So one can only assume that one is probably a bit more logical uh, than the other one. We also have news that Mike Novogratz, he's a very popular, famous, well-known cryptocurrency figure. He said that he thinks Bitcoin also had bottomed. It could potentially go a bit lower in price. He's not too sure, but... He thinks, however, that backed launching their custody platform, pretty much being able to hold people's cryptocurrencies, is going to be a very big driver for the future price of Bitcoin. The most interesting part was that, he said, for Novogratz, the issue is the key to improving Bitcoin's appeal among the institutional segment. As such, new offerings, including that from backed, should add a price reversal. He said, and I do quote, I think you've got to get back through 8,200 first. We've then got... We're then back in the $8,000 to $10,000 range. It's going to need new energy to really make the big move. A couple of months ago, we had information from the people from back, the New York Stock Exchange, that they were going to be launching their custody service. It was only for very rich people. Whoa, I didn't even see that. Back's warm and cold wallets are covered by $125 million insurance policy. My word. The point being, in the very beginning... They only allowed the richest of the rich to uh, store their cryptocurrencies with them. And back to announced a couple of days ago that apparently it's now open to the masses. So this could also be an indication as to why prices have moved up. I'm still going to make my bet on the fact that the uh, leader of China told... Uh, I mean, if you don't know how China works, please Google it. It's very, it's very interesting. Uh, essentially told 1.4 billion people, uh, it's okay, go for it. Uh, this could, in fact, lead us into another surge. I think as more people actually get this news as this just took place. Lead into another surge that could hopefully bring us over 10,000. Not getting my hopes up, but... um. News that billions of people are probably going to have access to the cryptocurrency markets is a pretty good reason to go back above 10K. I hope you all enjoyed. The markets are clearly going up. If you're not looking at the screen right now, Bitcoin is up by 14%. Ether is up by 10. XRP is up by 7. Ecash is up by almost 20%. A lot of the, not going to even say it, going to continue on. Litecoin is up by 12. EOS is up by 14 the market's looking pretty good. I would expect fear to start hitting people within the next couple of hours. Uh, for some reason, if things are going too well, people think that they're going too well. People start to get afraid and they start to sell. However, uh, that doesn't mean that things have to go wrong. So don't be terrified of any movements that you might see within the market. I really hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening. Wherever you are, Wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. This is a very great way to uh, either go into or uh, leave Friday. It's very, very nice. Hopefully, we have this momentum once again during the weekend. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.